So we're going to step away from the Bud Light news, and now we're going to talk about good old Little Mermaid. One of the one of the biggest topics that made the channel gain a ton of subscribers from prior, uh, because clearly this is a very emotionally poised movie that a lot of people have their investments in. But again, the Little Mermaid live-action remake that's coming out is, again, another example of Disney's classic race-swapping. Let's virtue signal. Let's make it seem like we're so utterly progressive. And yet, at the end of the day, we know they're anything but that. They're just trying to do this for absolute money even though it looks like according to this article from a show media website cbr so you can't even say that it's one-sided it says the report the little mermaid is poised to flounder as disney's worst 2023 opening in china it is absolutely positively looking like it's going to mega flop in China. And I know that Disney desperately needs that Chinese dollar because if you notice, Disney is making another push in China. They realized that when they gave up China, when they went woke after the last couple of years, they've been losing money left and right in the domestic market. They cannot afford to not get that Chinese sweet dollar. But the funny thing is, when you do a movie like this or any of their live action movies, ironically, they don't do well in China either china has basically checked out of disney movies and you can't really blame them because they went the last couple of years without having too many movies from disney aside from marvel of course and they don't really care anymore so we're going to get into the article guys but of course before we do just consider giving this video likes so you could push us out into the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing because we're on our way to twenty thousand subscribers it says the little mermaid secured a release date in china but estimates suggest the live action remake is on track for disney's worst china opening in 2023 disney's the little mermaid was one of the latest of hollywood's major releases to secure a release date in china following several years of a virtual ban on western films while getting a release date can be seen as a success on its own recent estimates suggest the film is likely to be disney's worst performing chinese release this year according to chinese box officer observers such as luis fernando the film earned just 13 thousand dollars from pre-sales for its opening weekend indicating a severe lack of interest from chinese moviegoers so that is an absolute mega mega bomb oh my god the little mermaid is going to bomb terribly and not only that it seems like it's not being well received by critics in the united states either which is hilarious to me because you gotta imagine if it's at like a 70 some odd percent in rotten tomatoes let's see where it's at right now rotten tomatoes so right now this movie the little mermaid with 91 critics is at a 69 percent oh my god oh my god that is terrible you know why that's terrible i'll tell you why even though 69% would be considered above average, you guys got to keep in mind, when it comes to movies like this, they have so many critics that will simply give it a 5 out of 5 just because Halle's black. 100%. It would be reverse review bombing from a lot of these critics. I promise you that happens. They will, make, they will write the most simplistic review just to give her a high score because they have to and they want to maintain their access. So they're not going to give a bad review for this movie. It is heavily skewed in its favor, but even when with that much of a heavily skewed demographic when it comes to critics, it's still at a 69% score right now. That is insanity. And you already know, ladies and gentlemen, you already know that that audience score is going to be magical. I guarantee you. I, and to be honest with you, I think this movie audience score is probably going to be like a 50-50. I don't think it's going to be as bad as, let's say, Cleopatra, right? I don't think anything's as bad as Cleopatra. That 1% was like, wow. But still, I think it's going to be somewhere in the middle. It's going to be very divisive. Obviously, it's going to be that kind of movie. And it's just going to be, yet again, another example of Disney putting out a subpar product, putting out a movie nobody wanted to see, nobody asked for, and nobody cared for this is going to come and go just like everything else they've been releasing and it's not going to have the long lasting stay or effect like the original animated films it never does none of these live action films ever have a long lasting effect look what happened with peter pan came and go like a fart in the wind and nobody gave a shit about peter patal he's back in the scam caller network right now making phone calls trying to steal from your grandma so it just doesn't matter nobody cares about this stuff it says for comparison disney's cruella which was the last live action adaptation to hit chinese theaters was also predicted to earn low figures and ultimately grossed 1.6 million upon opening and 24 million over its entire theatrical run in china mulan which was the last live action remake released before the coup pandemic grossed 307 thousand dollars in a day of pre-sales and 23 million upon opening leading to 40 million over the course of its theatrical run in china but you guys got to keep in mind though the average that people get back from a movie theater is about 50 percent in china it's even less it's like 20 to 30 percent that they get because obviously the ccp wants to keep all of 
of its money. So with that being said, even if it grosses 40 million, they're still going to get like 10 to 15 million dollars and that's it. That's all they're going to get. So it needs to make a lot of money for it to really matter at the end of the day in terms of overall money and profit that's coming back to Disney. And if it doesn't do that, Disney's just not, it's just not going to help them. It's not, it's going to be a bomb. Disney's going to have to rely and hope that their virtue signaling in the domestic market, that hopefully that that's going to pay off for them. They better hope that black people are going to consider this movie as the next Wakanda forever. Otherwise, they're not going to make the money that they're expecting from their virtue signaling. It says what happened to be a ban on Hollywood films was lifted following the abandonment of China's strict zero coup policy and numerous reports suggesting theaters across the country were on the verge of bankruptcy. Still, Hollywood films have struggled to see the same level of success that numerous titles saw prior to the uh, to the whole situation and the centennial of China's uh, party, which resulted in a greater focus overall on domestically produced films. I don't think that's it at all either. I think there was a combination of that and also the fact that Disney was getting a lot of heat for doing certain things that they were doing in China. They were definitely making black people either very small on the poster or they were skin color swapping them on the poster. And they're still doing this regardless as well. There is a poster that was released for IMAX theaters that made Little Mermaid become blue. And guess what they did? They decided to use that as one of the Chinese posters as well because that's going to convince people somehow, some way that she's not black. Now, don't get me wrong there was a poster released in china as well that clearly shows her being black which i find amazing to be honest with you the fact that they even were able to do that because normally again they would make her very small but you can't make little mermaid small in her own movie so i guess they had no choice which is probably why there's not going to be a massive amount of sales for this movie because if you showcase a black person on screen honestly in a poster in china the chances of people wanting to go watch it is not as much at least that's my understanding of the situation i could be wrong but the numbers seem to go towards that so it says in in recent months, there has been greater scrutiny placed on Hollywood studios and their relationship with Chinese firms and, by extension, the government. U.S. lawmakers recently met with studio executives, including Disney CEO Bob Iger, to discuss these relationships. During these meetings, Iger reportedly admitted that the company had made mistakes when it came to conforming to the requests of Chinese authorities. Moreover, it was reported that the company had seen the controversy surrounding 2020's Mulan and adjusted its process for future films, though it's uncertain how exactly the process had changed. The Little Mermaid's performance in China may be be uncertain, but elsewhere it is poised to see significant su success. Recent estimates suggested the Disney film is on track to earn approximately $110 million over its Memorial Day opening weekend. That would make it the, S the eighth best opening for the holiday, placing it behind other Disney films such as Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End and 2019's Aladdin's remake. That's kind of sad if Little Mermaid doesn't make more money than Aladdin. I would consider Little Mermaid to be bigger than Aladdin, in my opinion. You guys can leave a comment down below and let me know, but I would consider the name and the IP Little Mermaid to be bigger than Aladdin. Although they're they're basically very close to each other. They're they're just they're just two movies that came out around this time where animated films were at its glory days uh, from Disney before the whole woke nonsense took over. But I would be curious to see what exactly it does. But I'll tell you right now, if this movie does not do massive numbers in the United States, it is going to be a bomb. It is absolutely going to be a bomb because they are not going to be able to rely on China. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.